go. Y'all ever heard of a southern kingfish? Not the big kingfish full of teeth, but a southern kingfish. Kind of look like a croaker. I'll make one of these. Got a piece of quarter inch red oak. I think a croaker is an appropriate little, little bait. Time to take some meat off the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and fillet the sides off real quick with the belt sander. Took it down rather fast. Time to work on these fins, lead cavity. Like those knife videos. Draw some lines on it. End device, and I'm going to use a quarter inch Forstner bit while doing that. Quarter inch Forstner bit. Towards the head. Going backwards before I go forwards. We'll see if that's enough lead to sink this. Might do one more. Moving right, oh. moving right along, time to sand it. I mean, like with sandpaper. And then go in with a little X-Acto knife and cut out my gills. Oak is a, thanks for catching that. Oak is a tough wood, that's for sure, but I was able to carve it with a new blade, so I did break the tip off that X-Acto knife. A little rough, but the sandpaper will make it all look so much better. I'm gonna sand it with some 400, some 600. Also gotta do the um, lines in the fins real quick, and then let it. All right, time to do some fins. Using this little, I think it's a diamond bit, super, super tiny. But I'll be able to get in there and zip out those little lines, bone structure.
a little overboard there, but it'll all grind off. Gonna drill a hole in the nose for the eye screw. polished little lead chunks it's pretty cool actually I've never done that I just decided I wanted to see what that would look like and it's pretty cool pretty heavy too this thing's definitely gonna sink I probably only needed two of those but I'll be able to get some distance now gotta hit it with some uh, clear coat this is a super fast drying so I really just made that grain pop. Dang, I mean, this thing looks like a dang uh, Atlantic kingfish just the way it is. Yeah, I'm definitely not painting it. I'm just going to do like some white on the belly or something. This thing looks sick the way it is. Straight up, shell white. Going to go right down the belly. Wham-o. Let's go put some eyes on it. Put just a little bit of glue on. Maybe if I just zwink, drop it on there. Next side. Decided to go with these super cool looking little eyes. All right, got some eyeballs on it. Just gotta hit it with uh, another coat of clear coat and put some hooks on it. Well, I gotta draw the little holes, but one there and one there. There we go. Drying in style. Things gonna be ready to go here in about 30 minutes. Sir, can I ask you how my lure think looks, sir? Sir. Wait, sir, just tell me what do you think of my lure. Please, tell me what my lure's like. All right. Go put some hooks on it. Get it on the fishing rod. I really wish I would have countersunk those eyeballs, but it looks good. All right, I got the eye screws and the little holes that I drilled, pre-drilled. I got a rusty pair of pliers that barely will open. Pretty much vice grips now. And I'm gonna turn those eye screws. I've got this old eye screw on hook. So I'm just gonna transfer it over to this back. See, eye screw, split ring hook. Whew, I'm really struggling. All right, found another one, so there we go. Hook's on. Take a fishing. It's gonna jerk real nice. All natural, that grain in the wood, I mean, it's crazy how well, how perfect that goes with how an Atlantic kingfish looks. Spot on. All right, folks, here in Safety Harbor. I'm gonna head out, see what I can find on this uh, croaker, Atlantic kingfish bait. Got some storms moving in, but they'll probably pass. We'll see. Well, Brett said, I want live bait. Oh. Scaring them, we're just drifting. Get that net ready. As always, fishing low tide in the bay.
if I can't get this hung up on an oyster and lose it real fast. Oh, nice. Heck. You need to tie a regular knot on it, having the loop knots giving it too much action. Get a hit. Oh! I don't know, but it's nice. It's got some weight to it. And it, oh no! No! Oh! Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. Oh my God, it popped the freaking split ring off I didn't have a strong enough split ring I put I only had I think it was like a 10 pound split ring you gotta be kidding me oh man all right I got another hook here it's a bit bigger it's a VMC and this is like a 40 pound split ring or something it's all I have so it's gonna have to work super bummed about that that was a nice fish. What? Oh! Oh no! I think it's a jack, yeah. That's a jack. No, this is definitely a jack. It didn't. The other one was fighting a lot different. Oh yeah. No, I'm under you. You're all right. Are they? Heck yeah, got a jack on the, uh, on the croaker. Give you a kiss, thanks for being my first customer. Oh. You sure? Ooh, you got a red? You have any drag on that? Get around here, you're gonna get wrapped around the pole. Oh, now he's awake. That's probably, yeah, I, the, the way that redfish is fighting is the way that. The biggest redfish I've ever got. That looks like a. That's a big redfish right there. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Please. <laughs> that, that's, the leg going to the boat. If I can get its head in the net, at least that will, uh... Yeah, maybe it's... Yeah, it's decent size, but I don't know if it's your biggest. It might be 30. Anything around it? Yeah. It's <laughs> cool. Congratulations, dude. Nice fish, dude. He's ready to go. Brett, catch that 
choo-choo, I went ahead and upgraded both hooks and uh, split rings because I don't want to lose that if I catch that, like the first fish, then I'm pretty sure that's what that was. A big old breeder redfish. Come on. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> you jerk! A ladyfish hit it right next to the boat. And see, it just came in it. I was literally pulling it out of the water. Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> Gonna call tonight here out on Tampa Bay. Did pretty good. Brett got himself a uh, his personal best choo choo red. So can't beat it. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.